News since 6. Can city leaders talk about what's happening with the city's public utility? Now, that's the heart of a question raised by a city councilman following the discovery of a letter calling for a literal cone of silence in communicating about possible privatization. This is a letter from a local firm called Foley and Lardner, dated August 2nd. It's to the board chair and CEO at JEA. It calls for a limitation on communications as JEA solicits, quote, strategic alternatives through a, quote, invitation to negotiate. So the attorney's letter says the ITN prohibits ex parte communications between potential bidders and JEA and its representatives, and it refers to that as a cone of silence. And that got City Councilman Garrett Dennis to organize a meeting today asking for a legal opinion, what can be discussed and what can't. And you think about it, so we have JA was going on the privatization, and, and, and we're saying that the City Council cannot interject themselves, cannot ask any questions, but then we have another major issue here in our city, uh, the sales tax and the city council, we're interjecting ourselves and asking questions. So, you know, there's some hypocrisy here. Leadership at JEA in Jacksonville has said it wants a, quote, very deliberate conversation about what is effectively a policy conversation. Here's what CEO Aaron Zahn told me during our episode of This Week in Jacksonville a week ago. There is no right or wrong here. And the policy question is very simple. Do we design JEA to shrink and not compete in now what is now a competitive market? Or do we design JEA to grow and start competing in the market. And as the CEO, at the end of the day, I can present those alternatives, which is what we're doing in scenario strategic planning, to the board of directors for them to make a decision. And ultimately, if that requires city council or your vote as a voter, then it, that'll be your choice. So why would JEA or its attorney ask for this so-called cone of silence? Well, the letter says limiting communication between potential bidders and JEA or its representatives can, quote, ensure that JEA runs a fair and proper procurement process.